So you just open up a new tab and you look for NOAA board. And once you look for that, it should be the first one. Uh, and then just click the first link. Once you click that, then it will give you the page with a bunch of information about the version and all that stuff. But all we're interested here is, is just clicking the download button. So just download that. And once you download, it should open up a new page. And from here, we're just going to download the zip file. Once you download the zip file, you can either open it um, as to show in a folder or you double click it, then it should open up in a window. So now you can just extract all and to your desired location, you extract it. Once it's extracted, then you all you gotta do is you gotta double click the exe file, the executable file. Once it's open, you just right click, load keyboard, and then here you just gotta pick the proper category. I'll just pick the 7YT and you can see the keyboard and the mouse popped up. Now all you gotta do is pick the proper keyboard style. I will just pick the uh, classic black and white. So now you have Streamlabs open. So now all you gotta do is you gotta open up a source. So here you're adding a source. So all you do is you do a window capture and add source. Now you can pick any name that you want. Um, I chose keyboard. Uh, if I can spell it right, let me just correct that. So now uh, spell keyboard and press add source. So once I've added the source, now I have to select the correct window. So I'll select the correct exe file. And then I'll, uh, as you can see, the uh, keyboard popped up. I'll press done. Now you can move it to the desired location wherever you want. And once it's moved, uh, remove the filter now. So right click and then press filter and then add the plus button. And then I'll just click the chroma key. So once you have the uh, chroma key selected, just press done. And then once you're done, you're gonna, these are the settings, you can play around with it. I chose to just leave it as default. So I'll just press done here. And you can see the green screen is gone. Now let's just do a quick demo. You can see I'm pressing the keyboard keys and on mouse. Here you go, guys.